we don't yet have uh, a, uh, a complete strategy because it requires commitments on the part of the Iraqis as well. President Obama at the conclusion of the G7 summit, letting everyone, including ISIS, know we don't have a strategy to battle the terror group. J.D. Hayworth with you as we continue here on Newsmax Prime. And according to the Media Research Center, the amount of coverage the president's foreign policy received on the Alphabet Networks actually doubled in May compared to April, but criticism of the president's handling of ISIS was virtually non-existent. With more on that story and other media news, we're pleased to be joined now by the president of the Media Research Center, Brent Bozell. Brent, thanks so much for your time here on Newsmax Prime. Hi, J.D., how are you? Doing fine, sir, and this story merits our attention, but there is a media story that we really need to discuss during our time together, and it is this. Apparently, Rupert Murdoch, is stepping down from 21st Century Fox. Day-to-day -day operations will be assumed by his son. Your initial take on this news? Well, not surprising. I mean, it was going to happen soon, given his age. Um, so, so, so that's not surprising. What's been unclear all along, and it's still unclear, is uh, where it's going. Well, what's, what's going to be the future of Fox News, uh, which is the network I care about the most? Uh, of, of all of his properties. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it, it is my hope and my expectation that, that it will continue doing good things. Uh, but uh, when, when, when you have a transfer to the next generation, you have to ask that question, where is it going? Uh, and the only, the only thing we would ask you, the network you care about the most, we would hope that Newsmax TV uh, goes up <laughs> your list of priorities in the not too distant sure. future, Brent. Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about all of his properties. You know, he's oh. got about 5,000 properties. The important one is Fox News. He really does, and uh, boy, he has come to define the modern media magnate, has he not, over his oh, career? Sure. sure, you know, I, I remember his investment in MySpace.com and what a monumental disaster that was. Okay, for every monumental disaster he's, he's had, he has hit one gusher of an oil well after another. Uh, he does have a Midas touch. He understands the business better than anyone, and he built an empire single-handedly. All right, from uh, not Citizen Kane, from Citizen Murdoch to uh, the here and now of the coverage of the president's foreign policy. Now, Brent, uh, the Alphabet Networks covered the story more. That's a good thing, but the coverage was very much skewed of what the president had to okay. say. Tell us what you found. Well, there's, there's the issue of quantity and quality. And from the standpoint of quantity, the coverage doubled for the networks from April, where it was around 40 minutes, to, to uh, May, where it was over 80 minutes. So that, that's an indication that as much as they might not want to cover it, and by the way, people don't, the networks don't like to cover foreign policy, believe it or not, because that's really on the low level of the interest of the public. But it doubled because the public is interesting, interested. And what the public is agonizing over is the fact that America doesn't seem for the first time doesn't seem capable of responding to a threat. And there is head scratching going on. Is we don't, where, Where's our president on this? Where, where's our foreign policy? Well, the media don't care about this. The entirety of their coverage of the president's as commander in chief handling of this, 43 seconds. So, which is, which is an atrocity in and of itself. It is a news media that have decided, and I've said this countless times, and this is more indication of it, they are simply not going to cover news if it hurts the narrative of this administration. And if I understand it correctly, Brent, the only criticism from the Alphabet Networks of the president that did show up on air was after he claimed the war against ISIS was going, uh, quote, was going well. Yeah, but there's so, there's so many inflection points where people need to are asking, where are we? Where's our commander in chief? Ramadi falls, and 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 we, we've been told that that was that kind of thing would never happen. And then we're told, you know, CNN was covering nonstop, covering the fact that that it was going to be retaken any moment now. Well, nothing happened because it can happen. So where's the there's the questions? Where where are we? Where, where's our foreign policy here? Well, you know, now we know what we all suspected. And it's, and it's incredible that the president came out and told the world, I don't have a foreign policy. Two years into a war. Can you imagine two years after Pearl Harbor, Franklin Roosevelt saying, well, I, I don't have a strategy yet because we got to work it out with our partners. Mm. 
you, Canadian. You give that historical perspective and that really brings it home. Speaking of home, let's bring it back here to the, uh, the national agenda. The story that garnered a lot of time on the Alphabet Networks was the topic of police misconduct, with the evening news shows spending more airtime in May talking about those three alleged incidences of police conduct than any other single topic. That information, according to your analysis there at the Media Research Center as well. How yeah. obsessed are the, uh, are the networks with race and cops and strife? You hit the word. You hit the word, JD. It's obsession. It's obsession. It's the obsession of the far left. Remember this. This is this is the Obama narrative is to cause disruption in race relations, in, in uh, gender relations, in class relations, and the media are feeding into this. Look, any form of police misconduct that is rises to the national level should be covered. I don't have a problem with that. But for every instance of misconduct, there are probably a hundred instances of great conduct. You'll never see that on the networks. Plus, there's two ways, there are two sides to these stories. You're not going to see that. Plus, the quantity, 109 minutes, more to three incidents than to a war, to a worldwide war against the biggest terror threat in the history of man. There's more interest in three cops. This is, this is unreal. And don't get me started on the border and the lack of coverage there. Brent Bozell of the Media Research Center. As always, sir, we thank you for your time. You heard what Brent had to say. Now, we'd like to hear from you. You can email me. You can also go to Facebook, Twitter, and NewsmaxTV.com slash comments.